Welcome to the Minecraft version of Friends School Baltimore. And here is this spawn that does not actually exist in real life. But it is very nice. Um, so here we've got a couple maps of the school. One over there. One right here. Um, we've got the turf, the main school building, and the road that would lead to the gym, but we didn't have time for it. Um, there is the pick up and drop off pavilion, and keep in mind that this um, we did run out of time for a lot of things during this project, and you can see it again, the school again from over here. We did run out of time for a lot of things on this project, so most things are either squished or just not very good, unfurnished. A lot of rooms are unfurnished. Um, here we are in the pick up and drop off pavilion with this tree, and here is the school. Uh, we're going to go in through the front entrance. And here we are in the uh, uh, first floor lobby. Here's the downstairs computer lab. Miss Hall. We've got Miss Borsella's Spanish and French room. Uh, it's squished. Johnson's room. Uh, she does Russian and Spanish. And most of these will have uh, on the, the sign next to the door that say what is taught there. Uh, as you can see, this is the art room. We've got the art room, and it is shaped like this. Uh, yeah. We've got the first floor hall, along with these elevators that go up, this is the uh, third floor, and then down, and we're back on the main floor. We've got this science room, and uh, this is Miss Weiss's room, and usually she doesn't let us jump on her desks, but uh, she isn't here, so we're going to do it. Um, this is one of the only furn fully furnished rooms in the building. We have desks, counters, sinks, everything that is in the science room along with this checkered floor. We have Ms. Gorman's science room, which also has the checkered floor, and uh, there's an upside down villager, and it is unfurnished. We have Ms. James's French room, and uh, we have another view of our uh, pick them and drop off pavilion and the uh, tree. We've got Mr. Spawn's science classroom um, with his greenhouse, and uh, we do not have his closet. But we do have one of his disease posters and um, his desk. In here we have the stairwell that goes up to the third floor and down to the basement. Um, uh, I'm sorry for the confusion, but uh, I have been calling this ground floor the first floor and that one up there the third floor. That is the third floor, this is the second floor, and what I call the basement is actually technically the first floor. Um, don't worry, it confused everybody. So, we've got the stairwell that comes up into the third floor hall, and we messed up a little bit with this uh, corner and this whole area, as a matter of fact. There should be a wall here and here, uh, where this upside down villager is. And this whole wall should be over a little bit to about here. Anyway, uh, this is Miss Audette's music classroom. We've got her closet, which doesn't have a floor. Uh, yes, <laughs> this is her closet and it doesn't have a floor. Uh, we've got her desk. And we've got her big window. We've got 
Ms. Smith's geography classroom with a checkered floor that somebody started but apparently didn't finish. We've got social studies classroom. It says geo. Does it say geo? No, that says history. Huh. Um, this says geo. It should be social studies. And there are more upside down villagers. Uh, it's completely unfurnished, but this is Miss Jones's room. <clears throat> this is Mr. Rutstein's history classroom. Um, and there should be a big window here, as with Miss Jones's classroom. But we did run out of time for a lot of things, so a lot of things that should be there aren't. We've got these nice elevators again. And this is the upstairs lobby with a classroom here. More of a broom closet than a classroom, honestly. Um, we've got, and we've got the library, which is where we are filming now. Um, we've got the chairs, books, lots of books, chairs, benches, and this big desk computer behind it, and this little back room thing, um, yeah. So I just glitched out there a little bit. We've got the computer lab, um, which is where we're filming now, I'm sitting about here. Yeah. Um, so we've got this big desktop computer here with the 3D printer. Um, and we've got this big projector screen thing uh, made with trap doors and glowstone. Back out into the upstairs lobby, we've got the English classrooms. And sorry, um, we've only got two, there should be three. Uh, I'll let the English teacher decide by communal vote who's excluded. Um, Ms. Meinig's classroom or Ms. Melville's um, or Ms. Causey's. These two, you can decide which is which for yourself. This one's a little bit bigger. And we've got this staircase over here, um, which leads down to where the office should be, but we ran out of time, so it isn't there. Office would be this entire area, and I keep glitching like a block up into the air. Um, so that's what this space would be. Uh, let's go go back over here to the elevators and head down into the downstairs, which is full of upside down villagers. Um, math rooms, Miss Rosen, Mr. Rolfink, which has a lot of villagers in it. Um, this is fully furnished. This is pretty much the only other fully furnished room in the building. And um, Mr. Rolfink puts projects up on this wall, which is what these paintings are meant to represent. There's the staircase we used to go up to the third floor earlier. And we have Mr. Watt's classroom. Let's go outside using this um, staircase entrance thing. And what is with all the upside down villagers? Um, anyway, we're on this road that we saw from the map. And here's a car that one of our builders made. Very nice car. Uh, this door leads back down into the uh, basement slash first floor lobby, which we didn't view earlier. We've got lockers. This is the only set of lockers in the school because we ran out of time again. And um, they're made with iron blocks on top uh, with stone buttons on the side of them. And these are meant to represent lockers. Uh, let's go over to the art room. Well, the lower school art room. The lower art room. Um, we've got shelves here with uh, t 
tables and benches uh, with tables here. We've got the kiln, which is brown stained clay and a cauldron. And right here we've got an office. Yeah. So let's go back outside and see the turf. Um, this is the last stop on our tour. We've got bleachers, uh, lacrosse goal on one end, and a big friend's school logo in the middle of the field, which is just a F because we ran out of time and space or something. Um, time or space, probably. Probably space. Um, we've got the big red box thing. Um, not 100% why it's here, but it's a big red box thing. It's there in real life, so we put it in the Minecraft version. We've got benches for coaches and players to sit on um, during matches, although they probably moved off the field during matches. We've got big soccer goals. We've got, on either end, we've got another set of bleachers, and we've got this soccer ball. Look at me play soccer. I'm so good. All right, um, now we're going to view the school from the air with the beautiful fireworks that wouldn't be allowed on campus, probably. Uh, we've got the greenhouse, the pick up and draw off pavilion, Miss Spith's room, and Miss uh, James's room. Front door and the lobbies. The library, the door we didn't use, and the gardens. Yeah, that's the school from the air. And I have a whole bunch of random stuff in my inventory for some reason. Um, so let's go back down to the pick drop off pavilion. Hit this button and be teleported right back to spawn. Yay, we're done.